Hi scrapbookers, so today we're not going to be using one of the kits that I made to go along with the story play um, at Get It Scrapped, but I am just using, I just used some, a 6x6 six six pad and a ledger paper and I cut the title out of a, this, out with a silhouette and so you can see that on the back. So if you want to get um, some paper that you're going to cut with a silhouette, um, cut your title or like a sentence that you want to talk about. You'll need one photo and some um, doodads for embellishing. And I went through a lot of different choices today and I had a whole different arrangement of embellishments and then I didn't use them and I changed my mind and did it this way. Um, sometimes when you aren't really sure about how to embellish a page, um, you can go over to Get It Scrapped and um, submit your layout to the gallery called um, Masterful Scrapbook Design for Critique. And then in the critique, they will, you know, all of the other, the instructors and other scrapbookers will chime in and say, oh, I really like the way that you used ledger paper, but I think this up here is uh, a little heavy, or I think you could have moved that over here, or they'll have suggestions, and um, it's a really constructive way to figure out, you know, do I like the page as it is or, or not. And so um, I had a little story about how my grandparents met, and then this is what my grandfather would always say about how they met. So that is the page today. If you want to go gather your supplies, we'll get started. Hi, scrapbookers. So today I am um, doing a page that I started last night off camera. <laughs> I barely ever do that anymore. But um, I was, uh, yeah, I was just watching TV or I was listening to a podcast or something. And, and um, I started... So I, I started this page last night and um, I cut this out, the letters out on the, um, the sentence, out on the silhouette and um, I don't think I had the settings right because not all of the letters came out perfect but then I backed it with different little pieces that I cut from a 6x6 six six pad of paper and this is something, the sentence is um, I chased her until she caught me. And what made me think of that was I just scanned a whole bunch of old photos um, from my grandparents and I, um, so I then printed them up um, just at Walgreens. Um, and so I have all these old photos that I'm not using the originals, I'm using the, um, you know, just prints of them. So I feel like I can play and make some pages. And anyways, this was a photo that um, I think probably my mother took of my grandparents and they're like snuggled up on the couch and she's kind of like smothering him a little bit and he's leaning back and he used to say, um, and they met when they were kids. So they knew each other um, their whole lives. And um, they used to, their families used to, um, go to the same beach when they were, like for the summer, like the mothers would take the kids to the beach and spend the whole summer. Um, <laughs> wouldn't, I bet that was nice, right? Um, but so anyways, um, they met in this beach town um, and then knew each other, you know, until they grew up and got married and lived happily ever after. But he would always say, I chased her until she caught me. And she used to tell me these stories about how... Um, you know, he was a little bit older, so she would, like, be peering in the window of where they were dancing, and she would just break her heart if she saw her him dancing with other girls. So, anyways, I started to um, embellish this um, page a little bit, and I, um, and then I, I, I'll show you what I was doing. I was going to just finish this page off camera and just go, you know, just do it like that. But then I was like, oh, I kind of like to share. So I started to embellish it like this. So I had a cluster up here and I used the hello and also the um, telephone dial motif. Um, not because I think she was calling him a lot because I don't really think they did that back then so much. Um, but I don't know, it just 
remind... I mean, they had phones, I guess. <laughs> I don't know when phones started. You know, but they were different. Like, you used to have to call the operator and say, like, connect me to... And the, the you know, the, um, the phone lines would only be, like... The phone numbers would only be, like, four digits. Anyways, this was my first attempt at embellishing this page. So then I had some more of these um, phone circles. And I think these came from like a jelly bean soup line, something like that. And then I also was kind of playing with the idea of um, story play with get it, you know, get it scrapped. That's their theme this month. And am I using the kit? No. <laughs> I totally went out, you know, out of the kit, and that's, I'm going to say, um, that's okay. But the way that I was inspired by the Get It Scrap Story Play was a lot of what, a lot of the layouts have, like, these little play on words. So, like, um, one of the layouts has birds of a feather, and so there's a picture of a bird, and then pictures of a feather. It's it's not actually like that. It's better than that. And and to see it, you have to subscribe to the membership over at Get It Scrapped. But I can describe it to you here. Um, anyways, um, so I was thinking, like, wouldn't it be fun to um, to kind of play off of that um, concept of, you know, this would be, like, lovebirds. Lovebirds. Ha ha. Get it? <laughs> And so I just, this was my first option for embellishing. And then, I don't know, I just didn't, um, it just, it's okay. I could have laid this all down, you know, did a little journaling, um, probably down here, call it done. Um, but then I was like, I want to play with this. I, I don't know. I Usually I will um, just, you know, what I say, pick it and stick it. But, um... This time, I just was like, I don't know about that. So, I got on my silhouette, which I've, so I go in phases with using the silhouette. So, I scrapped all, you know, took all those embellishment clusters away. And then I, on my silhouette, I wanted to play with that concept of um, using, so I used the 4x4 four four pads again, and then I just, used a bird that came with the silhouette program and then what I did was I mirror imaged that bird like flipped it over and then I sized it smaller so I had four of those birds so I could um, do a little sh a shadow effect with it but then when I did that um, the first couple didn't really work out like I would like them to. But I'll tell you, I'm not super upset about like wasting these six by six pages because or sheets of paper because I can still use these as even with this the die cut out of the back, you can still use them as um, you know, photo mats or for layering. So if you um, are trying to, you know, get the most bang for your buck out of your products, um, try this little trick of, you know, punching either, um, that's kind of pretty, with different things in the background. <laughs> um, but uh, try to do that, you know, just punch something out and then use the, um, the piece of paper. And that's going to just give you a little extra. So you can do like a whole bunch of die cutting before you get into a project or if you want to add those to your kits. So I'm going to do that. I just have this huge pile of embellishments over here just off camera. <laughs> um, but I didn't like the size that I cut of these two birds. I kind of felt like, oh, those are uh, much larger than I anticipated on the page. And I think there's ways you can really determine that before you cut. But if you've watched my videos before, I, I don't always, you know, measure twice, cut once kind of thing. I just cut and figure it out afterwards. So then I um, did the whole bit again, but I used different papers. And um, I 
reduce the size of the bird. So let's take that off. And I did a little two minute tip video. And one of the things I wanted to say is if your silhouette uh, mat is getting like not so sticky anymore, just after you press down um, your papers, just use something like, you know, one of your wooden stamps to kind of brayer that all into place. And that seems to, that helps to keep your paper adhered down to the silhouette cutting mat. So let's take these off and see how we're looking. And I've, I've had my silhouette, I think since um, like Christmas, I got it for Christmas. And I have used um, the same blade and the same cutting mat. I don't use it like all the time, but I use it, you know, often, I would say. Like maybe, I don't know. Like 10 times a month, something like that. So these would be my little birdies, my little lovebirds for the page now. And I try to be good at keeping this on it. And I also keep my cutting mat in a drawer so that um, it's less likely to get dust. So I'm just putting that back in the drawer and Let's see about using these now. Now we've got that effect where we've got the, you know, like a little shadow. So I can figure out where I would like my birdies to go. Um, I'm not so happy with that as a shadow. Let's try the pink, see if that works. Yeah, it does. Huh. So there. <laughs> that works better. Okay. This won't work so well, but. The other thing you can do is say I didn't, I don't like that color of the um, the polka dots. I feel like that should be a little darker. I can get out my Copics and let's see what kind of color. It might be fun to do pink, like because I have this hot pink and this would represent her, the girl, and that represents him, the boy. So let's see about this red or this pink and we can just kind of test it out here that's very bright although that's not the brightest one I have let's see let's try the other one out yep the first one I think is the ticket it looks more like this hot pink color which was like really, I think, a signature color of my grandma. So let's use this. And I just need something too. <laughs> Sometimes I go in the circular file, which means my trash can, to um, it's something to write on. Like to, I don't have that handy though. <sighs> Planning. I don't do it. <laughs> so no. I know. Okay, we'll just we're just gonna use the back of um, a sticker sheet. I don't know if that's the best idea, but that's what I'm gonna do. So now I'm just coloring in my silhouette die cut with a Copic marker. You could probably do this with other kinds of markers, but I won these. Um, Copic markers years and years ago from um, Simple Scrapbooks magazine, and I just this is about all I do use them for is just coloring in um, embellishments or letter stickers, and just keep them in this little bin, and they're still perfect. I love them. Okay, yep, I like that much better. Okay. So that kind of reminds me of her better. Um, so now, let's see, kind of just thinking about photo placement and whether I want to cut this down. Um, I think that I do. So I'm going to just cut the photo down just a little bit. So 
what's interesting is like when I have all of my photos, all of my old photos together, they're all different sizes. And then when I print them up as four by six, they're all still a little bit different because I reduced the size so that they're going to fit onto the page. But um, they kind of take on a different life when they're um, a different size. It's very interesting, I think. So if I do like this, right, then I feel like it's, I think I like this arrangement here. I'm just going to cover up that little place on the in the photo where the curtains are open so we're kind of pointing into them and this is going to give me room to write which I want and I could do all those other embellishments and they were great they're just fine but they're not um, they're not uh, really advancing exactly what I want to like I'd rather spend a little more um, of my page, my space on my page, on um, writing something than than um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> yeah, and I'm also thinking like it would be cute. Like I was also going to get into my silhouette and then get like a silhouette of a bird. Um, where or two birds like then together but this embellishment here has the two birds on um, together but I don't feel like the color really works so I'm wondering if maybe we could do that same trick um, and color this embellishment which I'm not sure that's gonna work so let's try it just for fun just to see. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to this piece of paper that I've already started to use as kind of a scratch piece of paper. And um, what am I going to do to this? To Because I don't really want it to be quite as bright as this here. And this is kind of a, a less porous material. So this is just... Um, a lighter pink. I don't know. <laughs> so it's it's really good that I had all of this all done because this gives me a chance to play. Okay. Do I want that up there? I don't think so. I think um, that doesn't help the page. So I'm just going to put that to the side and yeah, I think we're about going to keep this just like this. I like it now. Okay. So let me know how you liked it better. Like, did you like it with all of those embellishments? Or did you like it a little bit more simple? Um, be interested to know. I'm not going to go, um, I'm not going to go back and change the page or anything, but it is interesting to know. Um, and one of the things we do over at get it scrapped and masterful scrapbook design is um, you can make your page you know make a page and that can be based on the lesson um, of the month you know at, at masterful scrapbook design or not you know you can um, so I'm just gonna bend these up just a little bit so there's a little bit of dimension there and I could do pop dots why not let's do that um, find where my pop dots are. I thought I had some in here. Yep. Okay. Um, but one thing you can do over at um, Masterful Scrapbook Design is you can, and get it, the Good at Scrap membership, is you can um, really, you can submit a page and then the instructors of that month's um, Get It Scrapped edition, I don't know what she calls those. I'll have to I have to know that, <laughs> um, but it's, it's almost like she puts out a book every month, and um, she doesn't really call it an ebook, but it's like this, like a scrapbooking magazine, but on the computer. So it's like a magazine ebook. Um, 
But then what we do is everybody can submit layouts into the gallery for critique and then you can get feedback on the layouts that you make and it's not going to be like, oh my gosh, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Like, they would never say that. Um, and the layouts that people submit aren't the ugliest thing you've ever seen. They're, they're good. But a lot of times um, they are from beginner scrapbookers and, um, you know, it's like I think to, today it's really easy to learn so much that you're not necessarily making the mistakes that <laughs> we made or I made when I first started scrapbooking, you know, a million years ago and we were just doing insane things on the page. I mean, yeah, <laughs> there's some really horrendous things going on. But, um, but so, yeah, the office hours at Get It Scrapped are a time where you can get constructive feedback on your pages, and it's done in a very loving environment, an encouraging environment. So it's never, you're not ever going to feel like, oh, this wasn't, this wasn't good enough, or, and equal, you know, the, another thing I like about the Get It Scrapped community is that, um, you know, there's no favorites. So, you know, in some galleries, you'll see, some scrapbooking galleries, you'll see like, oh, well, everybody liked this one. And there's really not um, that kind of a vibe at, at Masterful Scrapbook Design and Get It Scrapped. It's more like, we're all sharing and we all appreciate everyone's effort. And, you know, obviously like some folks are gonna be like, you know, way more advanced than others, but it's a, it's this environment of learning and, um, you know, giving attention to everyone equally. So it's nice, it's, it is nice. And it's fun. It's and and it's also it's fun to see or it's interesting to see like okay, so I have this layout and everybody like I didn't even think this this thing was a problem, but everybody seems to be having an issue with this thing that didn't even occur to me. Um so sometimes you'll learn things that you know, you weren't even you didn't even know you needed to learn. So it's it's very it's a very good learning environment. So I encourage you to um, try it out. It'd be fun if she had like a, a few office hours that were open up so you could kind of see what that was before you signed up. But um, I think she's got, she's got a lot of sales going on um, lately. So it's not, like I think right now it's $10.00. Like the pre like I'm I'm coming to you from August, so when you hear this, it probably won't be the same. But um, she had a sale for um, like three months for thirty bucks, I think. So it was like ten dollars a month. So that seemed pretty um, easy to commit to. Okay. So I'm wondering, you know, the rule of three is should should there be a third embellishment on this page somewhere? And I don't know. Um, that would be like a, a good question for the the get it scrapped girls. If you know, to if you workshop your your um, layout, then people could say, oh yeah, you should totally put something down there. Or no, you shouldn't. Or it should go over here. Or and so they can really give you very constructive feedback. But um, so I wonder what they would would have said about this my whole concept over here. So I I think um, I think I do. I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to put one more embellishment on the page. And maybe it's this. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm 
not really sure. I'm just going to leave it uh, with nothing, and that way maybe I will workshop this page so that um, we can find out what everybody thought. Um, yeah. So let me go ahead and just um, do my journaling down here, and then I'm going to be about done. And you know what I bet they're gonna, they would say is we need little eyeballs on those. <laughs> let me try that. Oh, I hope I don't totally ruin it, but I have this. This will give me a something shiny. Let me try it on one of these birds first. So what I'm thinking is like a little, um, this is like the puffy paint, you know? Okay. This bird doesn't look happy. I want them to look happy. Um, I think, no. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's not put eyeballs on the birds. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of journaling and then I will be back in a flash. Okay, so I'm back and I did, th I do think I made a decision about the, the embellishments, maybe. <laughs> but um, let me read you this first and, and let you look at this page without this little cluster up here. And then you can tell me if I need it or if I made a mistake by putting it on. Anyways, um, Grandma Grace and Grandpa Allen grew up spending their summers in the same beach town, Mattapoisett. She told me stories about how he'd go to the dances and she wasn't old enough to attend and she'd watch through the windows as he danced with all the other girls. He had a way of chuckling and telling you in a short, sort of hushed, loud whisper so it wasn't like a secret, but it would like kind of pretend to be um, whispering to you, but it was just as loud as, I don't know, it was just a way he did it. That um, So he had a way of chuckling, because he would always laugh as he told the story, telling you in a sort of hushed, loud whisper that I chased her until she caught me. Like there was no way of escaping my grandma's avid pursuit of him. <laughs> like a boys chase girls game that ended in happily ever after. And um, so he, he would say, I chased her until she caught me. And that was the standard answer, um, Grandpa Allen, on how he and Grandma Grace fell in love. So I am going to um, go ahead and do a little embellishment cluster. I liked this um, just because, you know, they used to take me to the library, so I just kind of associate them with the library and um, and so these are like checking you know like check you out <laughs> so there's a little lovebird theme going on here but there's also like a checking you out <laughs> I don't know I don't know I know it's not it's it's a little um, but there is a little tiny bird on there so we'll put a bird on it I did get to watch Portlandia like once. I need to watch it some more. And my husband was like, what? I don't, I don't. He didn't understand. He was like, I'm like, it's funny. It's supposed to be funny. And he didn't, I don't think he really liked it. Which is too bad because I think it's it's a good one. Um, so, all right, let's get this kind of lined up with this here. Alrighty. And... I really, I don't know why, I'm just really set on using some phones on this page. Um, yeah, so we'll add this little phone detail, and that's going to go kind of over this, but then I have, so when I cut this, it was like at the edge of a piece of paper, so it has a little, um, what do you call it, like it's a straight edge on the top, so it needs a little something. And it could be this memories, which I know I don't have any other white on the page, but I'm going for it anyways. And I know I could probably color that in with the Copics, but I kind of like that it is a little different than the rest of the page because it is just like a fond memory that I have. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I love to use a, um, the ledger paper with anything that has to do with my grandpa because he was an accountant. So that just reminds me of him. 
or you know, just for it's somebody that worked in an office, or um, and he had like a home office, so it was really um, it was. Can we put some little hearts in here, maybe. Let's see. I know those hearts don't really match the rest of it either. Uh, let's skip the hearts. All right. Okay. So, you know how I have these that are over here? They're kind of um, on top of each other, or there's a shadow? I kind of feel like that would help over here, too. And like, you know, that's the ticket, or she's got your number. That's the other kind of um, vibe that I'm trying to accomplish there. Okay. And I think I'm going to call that done. I know that needs a little tiny bit of adhesive underneath this here, and maybe a pop dot, so that will... So, or the memories. Let's put the pop dot under the memories so that those are just going to stand out a little. Yeah. That's the ticket. That's something they used to say. Or she's a hot ticket. She thinks she's a hot ticket. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a, a New England saying or not, but. Um, yeah. So today's, yeah, so today's um, layout, I did not use one of the kits that I created, but I did use the concept of trying to um, use some visual um, clues to kind of add to the story that, you know, the reader or the viewer would have to um, kind of make that connection like, oh, birds like oh love birds yeah and I know there's no hearts on there and I could have added some hearts but I felt like that was like a little too obvious I don't know so let me know what you think let me know if you like this arrangement better than the first you know when I had all of this other stuff because <laughs> I'm still a little bit um a little bit torn but it's it's okay it's just scrapbooking <laughs> Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.